Hey guys, so episode 7 of the Buffalo Sabres Rebuild. I just want to take a second to thank everyone that's watched so far. Again, this is my first, uh, you know, a real uh, attempt at franchise mode videos. I love all the feedback and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to keep this going. I'm having a blast doing it. I uh, just want to say... Please subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Uh, would really help me out. But let's jump into episode 7 of the Buffalo Sabres Rebuild. Alright guys, so we are going to pick up in free agency. Uh, you know, there are some holes that we do need to fill. So let's take a look at that real quick. What we really have to go after in free agency heading into, I believe, year number 3. So we'll do by forwards first. Uh, we've got Jack Eichel, 92 overall. We are going to keep him at right wing as his faceoff's only 77. Uh, so I'm okay with that as our center depth is actually pretty deep. So we've got Eichel. We are going to put him on right wing. First line center will be Sam. Reinhardt to start and then on left wing on the first line it will be Casey Middlestad again only 74 face off so I'm okay with making him a left winger on the second line we're gonna have Kyle or Kyle Opozo uh, be the second line right winger while Olafson will be the second line left winger at center we are gonna have Quentin Byfield for the second line now we might put Quentin Byfield up to the first to try that again but it did not go well in his first season though he was hurt for most of it third line center is going to be Ryan Strom who we've got for another year at 5.1 million at 84 overall not bad at all so that will be our third line center. Jurgensen's is going to stay as our fourth line center. Um, no problems with that as he's locked up for uh, three more years at that. I'm completely okay with that as I like Jurgensen's in real life. Uh, Evan Rodriguez, he is going to be our fourth line left winger um, as he's done fine throughout. And no reason to change that. Dylan Cousins will be our third line right winger. Now, uh, that means that on the left side of the third line, that is where we're going to have to target someone in free agency. We could also go after a first line left winger to put there instead of Middlestad so that everyone moves down one, but we'll take a look at what's available. Then we've got Tage Thompson, who will be the fourth line right winger um, to go along with him. And then Johan Larson will be our, uh, our scratch center. So we will have to sign two more, uh, whether it be a winger and a defenseman, for our um, scratches and whatnot to make sure that we've got enough uh, people in case of injury. So if we look at our defenseman on the main roster, obviously we've got Rasmus Dahlin, 89 overall. Paired him with Rista Linen. So, uh, you know, left and righties, that's fantastic. But then we've got uh, Jamie Drysdale, who we hope gets a little bit better. I'm going to play him on the first line with Dahlin again. Hopefully he can have a bit better season, although he was hurt for a little while. We've got Yoki Harju at 81 overalls uh, as our, uh, th he would be technically our third pairing right defenseman. As our right defense is pretty good, as Rista Linen, Drysdale, and Yoki Harju, I'm completely okay with. Uh, Lawrence Pilot, he is 79 overall and a left-handed shot, so he would be our third pairing left defenseman. And then we've got a couple of younger guys as Jacob Bryson, another left-handed defenseman. We might put him into the NHL. Uh, at 76 overall, I might do one more season in the AHL, although he has done really, really good there. Uh, then we also... Excuse me. Then we also have Harper, who's going to be in the AHL, or our seventh defenseman. We might put him at seventh defenseman. And then uh, Matthias Trigg, who we did draft this year in the second round, is 76 overall at 18 years old, and we did sign him. So not really sure on what we're going to do with him because we might just play him, to be honest with you, as, um, you know, not a bad player at all. Just taking a look at what we've got here. Okay, so as far as defense goes, I would love um, a left-handed defenseman to try and push uh, Pilot out of the lineup um, and push all these guys down one, but we'll have to see. In net, we've got um, Rizlikens, who is an 80 overall. He's going to be our backup as it is now time for Uka Pekka Lukanen uh, to start, and hopefully he can be what we need him to be because it has been ugly in net so far for us, and kind of we were just waiting. Uh, although we did make the playoffs last season, and we were just waiting for him to get um, you know a little bit better. In terms of what we've got in the system. Okay, so we've got uh, Dylan Gunther, who we did draft first in the first round, sixth overall. Um, you know, he's going to stay in the AHL a little bit longer as he will be our left wing of the future. But uh, we need him to get a little bit higher. No point in putting him in the NHL this season as he's only going to play third line minutes. 
And then we've got Rasmus Asplund, who will probably play another year in the AHL. Obviously, Laxanen, same thing for Haig. So if we look at forwards in the AHL, uh, we're going to need... I don't know. We do have quite a few, although these ones are all rookies. So how many do we have? Uh, one, two, three. Actually, let's just take a look at centers real quick. Center, center, center. Okay, so Asplund, Verhaeg, and Vorobiev are fine. It's, uh, Vorobiev's a little low. So it looks like we're going to need two, def two centermen. Okay, we're going to need two centermen at least for the AHL, and then that should be okay. Um, on defense, uh, yeah, we're going to be fine on defense. It's Howard's up, Johnson's up, Strand. We'll take a look there. What about in Nets? We've got Aiden Hill for another season, and Kluchik signed for another few as well with uh, Oscar Ledeen, who is third round, someone who we did draft in the third round. Um, not bad at all as, uh, I mean, well, 60 overall French starter. My apologies. I read that as an 80. <laughs> so yeah, so he's not going to be anything either. So, uh, we're probably going to sign one more goaltender as well. As far as contracts go, we've got 12 more we can sign. So let's take a look at the free agent pool. Like I said, we have a couple options. We can go after a big fish winger for the left side and Alex Ovechkin would obviously be that. If we were to sign Alex Ovechkin, uh, that first line would be deadly. Now... 91 overall. He only wants two years at 8.825. That would be phenomenal. Push him to 37 years old, but he's fantastic. So then we've got Landis Cog as well, another uh, left winger. Again, that would be a first line kind of player that we'd have, but I mean, he's only an 86 overall. So that's only two more um, as far as in terms of an upgrade from what we've got in Middlestad. And that actually, Ovechkin might be perfect. We've got Hyman, who would be, I mean, he'd probably go second line. I'm not too sure what we should do here as, okay, Sherry Hoffman. Mm, Hoffman might be. Do we go after Ovechkin and give Eichel some actual firepower? Two seasons of Ovechkin, whereas, I mean, Landis Cog wanting four years. Hmm. Last year, he had, what, 60 points? Hmm. <laughs> he had 60 points. How many did Ovechkin have? He had huh, almost 100. I mean, that'd be amazing. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to offer him $9 million for two years, and we'll see what he says. I mean, if we get Ovechkin, that's huge. Okay, and then we need a left-handed defenseman. So right there, let's do... We do need a right-handed defenseman no matter what, so we'll go down the list here. Goligoski is an option at 35. Not really a fan. Ian Cole, not really a fan. Edler, Mike Green, no. Savard, no. Alec Martinez, no. Patrick Nemeth, no. Jason Demers, right-handed. Scandella's a lefty. Jimmy Alexiak. Now, would it be worth it to sign Alexiak for three years? I mean, that's a lot. As a true defensive defenseman. Hmm. <laughs> We've got Troy Stetcher, Adam Larson. Could go uh, now. Good Branson. Uh, do we just leave the defense alone? What about in net? We've got Devin Dubnik, who wants two years at 8 mil. Jordan Bennington, who wants five. The problem is is that I want Pekka, Luka Pekka Lukanen to be our you know, starter for the future, so I really don't want to sign another goaltender, so we'll keep that as it is. I would love it if Ovechkin resigns, and we can't really do anything until he decides, which kind of sucks because, well, um, we can't really then make a decision on what we're going to do, although we have a lot of cap space. Hmm. Okay. I do want a left-handed defenseman. Is there anyone that we could get for a one-handed left 
defenseman. Goligoski wants a year at 6.5. Mm, I don't know if I want that. And he's offensive, so that'd be a bad fit. Edler. Edler might not be a bad option. He wants two years. What if we get Edler for one? Savard is right-handed. These guys all want two years. Ron Hainsey at 40 years old. Still wants a shot. I mean, we might as well let Lawrence Pilot see if he becomes anything on that third pairing. Hmm. Actually, do we even have someone, or is he going to be... Just need to double-check here. Let's take a peek. Defenseman. Oh, yeah, that would make it real weak. We 100% need to sign someone. So, on the left side, because if Pilot is our... He's a two-way. He's going to be paired with Yokiharju. He's a two-way. That's fine. Drysdale is offensive, who is paired with Darlene, who's a two-way. And Ristolainen is a two-way. So, that's fine. So we 100% need a left-handed defenseman. That uh, we can spend some... I mean, we can't really spend huge money, but it's because there isn't really anyone worth it. But we can uh, we can go at it. So we have Goligoski, who wants a one-year deal, 6.4, as we wait. He's an offensive defenseman, although he will be paired with Ristolainen. I don't really like anyone else. Because our options are Ian Cole and Edler. Edler, we'd save two mil, but he wants a two-year deal. Let's go with Goligoski and see if um, if he will accept. That's really all we need is those two. Now, if Ovechkin and Goligoski sign, we are in real good shape. But let's take a peek and see what happens. As they want to send us Holtby for a third. What is Holtby rated? Eighty three overall. And he's got three years left. Pekka Lukanen is gonna be there by then, so we can let that go. Alright, let's take a peek. Come on. As Ovechkin only has one team interested, and that might that is gonna come on. Trade alert as Brendan Dillon goes to Vancouver for a couple of picks and Niels Hoglander goes the other way as the um, Michigan specialist is now moving on. So Goligoski and Ovechkin, we're still waiting to hear back from. Oh man, they're making us wait. As a first rounder for a third and a fifth. Where did we draft Quentin Owen? In the fifth round. What are they seeing here? Low top six, 47 overall, a third and a fourth for a first. Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay, five days in. And Goligoski is going to go to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Please, do we have... Alex Ovechkin. He signs. All right. So we got Ovi, which makes things way different. As a second and a seventh for a third, fourth, and he... I like Larson, so there's really no point in that deal. All right. So now things are drastically different. As now we have Alex Ovechkin, which means our first, our forwards are nuts. So... Eichel on the right wing with Alex Ovechkin on the left. We have two seasons of this. We have 13 mil in cap space. Reinhardt will be... I'm going to... I want... I would love it if Byfield plays in the center of those two. We're going to try that out. Reinhardt would be our second line center with Middlestad going to the left-hand side on the second line with Okpozo. And then we've got Olofsson on the third... Olofsson on the third line with Ryan Strom... And Dylan Cousins. I really hope Dylan Cousins becomes something, but I don't know if he will. So that makes everything all right as Eichel, Ovechkin, and Spyfield to be our first line. Second line is Reinhardt. 
Middle stat Pozo. Third line's Olsen, Strom, and Cousins. Fourth line is Jurgensen, Rodriguez, and Thompson with Larson as our uh, fourth, uh, or sorry, our uh, 13th forward. Okay, so now the things change. We really need a left-handed defenseman because we should just, I mean, we absolutely got to spend some money now. I mean, I don't know what's left as far as defensemen go because he did make us wait as Mike Green is right-handed, which isn't going to do it, but Martinez is there. It's probably our best option. I really don't want Patrick Nemeth. What else do we have in the 80 overall range? Could go Jalmerson. Hmm. I think that's what we're going to do. Nah. We'll go Alec Martinez on a two year deal. He'll be 35 years old. We'll do a one year deal for Martinez. Okay. And we do need some centermen that want a two way deal. Uh, so, who do we got? Brandon Sutter. Maxim Litsunov, top nine high. That's actually not bad at all. We'll offer him a contract. We'll do two years up to 27 years old. That's fine. Uh, who do we have here? Bottom six. It's a six-rounder by the Boston Bruins. Hmm. It's Rocco Grimaldi wants a two-way deal which I'm okay with. That actually might not be a bad option at all. If he wants a two-year deal, a two-way deal, send Grimaldi down, sure. He can captain that squad. Uh, Proc Yorkins. Okay, what about forwards-wise? Let's just see what else is out there. Uh, Zach Sanford. Hmm. I mean, he's just kind of in the way. Nick Patan. I wouldn't mind a nice, decent score. All right, we'll fire him a deal. On uh, defense, we do have quite a bit defenseman, I believe. Uh, we do need a goaltender though that wants a two-way deal. So let's see. Bednard, who is potential medium backup. Okay. Bridge starter. Connor Ingram. Yeah, I'm okay with Connor Ingram. Let's see if we can get him to a two year deal. Alright, let's see if we can get these guys signed. As Rocco Grimaldi signs. Perfect. Dorofiev for Jordan Stahl and a third round pick. I do not want Jordan Stahl, so decline that. Advance again as another deal. Second and a fifth for Evan Rodriguez. A third and a fourth. Hmm. A second round pick for Rodriguez, but a third and a fourth. I like Rodriguez. I'm not ready to move them yet as we just kind of moved everything up. So, Martinez is going to be on our team. Connor Ingram signs. Okay. With him, Latunov is in the AHL. Nick Patan is in the AHL. Okay, so now let's look at our contracts, see what we've got here, as our team is starting to take some shape here. So our NHL team is all set, really. Uh, now that, uh, actually, is defenseman on here? Yeah, so here is our defense, essentially. So Rasmus Dahlin, obviously going to be our first-line left defenseman. Our first-line right defenseman is going to be Jamie Drysdale. Um, and then we'll put Rasmus Ristolainen on the second pairing, which I do like, with... Um, Alec Martinez. And the third pairing will be Yogi Aryu and Lawrence Pilot. And then we'll need a seventh defenseman, which is fine. We'll go in the system. What do we've got? Bryson. We'll put Harper as our seventh defenseman. Or maybe we sign somebody as far as the AHL goes. Bryson is a lefty. Harper won't play for us. Laxinil was a righty, so those will be the first pairing. Matthias Trigg will be a left-handed. 
Borgen will be the right, so that's the second pairing. Third pairing will be Casey Fitzgerald on the right, and John Gilmore. Uh, Ryan Johnson on the left. Uh, we'll put Mason in. My boy Mason Howard will start. So we do have enough defensemen in the system now. That's fine. Uh, goaltenders, we still need another goalie, though, as uh, we've only got four on the roster. Let's take a look at forwards for the AHL as... Dylan Gunther is going to play. No, we we got another. That's fine, actually. So Nick Patan is he could play anywhere with that face off. So uh, Splend, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We only have eleven forwards, so we do need some more. How many right-handed players do we have? One, two, three. So we need a we need a right winger for sure. So let's grab a right winger in free agency as Alex Ovechkin, the era of him and but can you imagine like that would never happen in real life, I don't think. There is no way. So I I just got back from Washington. They would never let him go. They would never let him go. As Jesper Fast wants a two year deal. I really want the Amerix to do well this year, so that is going to be a big 10-4 here. Can we get him for two? No. It's for fast one's a one-year deal. Okay, so we do need to sign a few other ones. Is there any other high rated guys? Ulanov. Rippo. Joey Anderson. forwards. Juji Kara is there as well. 26 years old. Cedarqvist. Nah, too low. I do like Anderson. That's not a bad overall and whatnot for him. We'll do Joey Anderson to offer him a contract. As he will accept as... Yeah, there won't be any compensation. Other than that, I think we're okay. Cogliano, imagine him there as well. Oh yeah, let's look at goaltenders. As Connor Ingram did not resign, so any other good? Seventy-two overall for Peters. Potential French sir. Decord, Huska, Bednard. All right, Bednard seems to be the play. All right, we'll see what happens now. So we advance a day. As a third and a not, and Evan Rodriguez for a second. Man, they really want Evan Rodriguez. But I don't really have anyone that I would want to call up from the AHL, to be honest with you. So Again... Okay, it's fine. So fast is now in the AHL. So again, we just need to sign a couple more forwards, and we're all good to go. As how many more contracts? We're at 47 contracts. Okay, so sign two more players, two more forwards. Okay, as we did get our defenseman. So Michael Dowcole. Okay, with him. Actually, he is. Oh, I doubt he signs as he's got two teams interested, but we'll see. Uh, and Brock McGinn, no. Jujakara. Curtis Lazar, we could bring him back. Yeah, why not? All right, let's see if they sign. And then our team is good to go, I think. Michael Dowcole is a... As Yom Larson for a fourth. No, I don't want to get rid of them. All right, so now we can advance. Uh, I can do, actually, just want to check the scouting real quick. As, yeah, we're going to need to, uh, how many do we have? One, two, we have 20. Okay, as far as coaches go, we need some coaches. So, good thing I checked. As Beauregard, wow. Wow. 
How does he fit? Points. He's 101, 56. Wow, not bad. Team fit, not very good. Is there any other better team fits? No, 60 seems to be the best. Who do we have right now? Longy. <laughs> 58. And, although he does have a good record so far with us. Okay. So we need an AHL head coach, a goalie coach, an associate coach. Okay, so we do need some coaches. So let's get him. Can you imagine what he would be as our associate coach? Hmm. We already have one, though. So we need an AHL head coach. B- minus for an AHL head coach isn't bad at all. Let's see if he fits at all, though. Wow, not really well. 34 seems to be better, so... Alright. Fire up some more money. Offer contract. And we also need... A associate coach. Yikes. Okay. And we'll see if he takes assistant coach here. And then lastly, we need two goalie coaches. And okay. So let's see if they accept. As I'll do the scouting and whatnot off stream, so or off video, so you guys don't have to watch it. Happy to join the team. Don't feel you've watched me. Ugh, like a chewer says no. Delisle says no. He's already gone. Okay. All right, so we got one. As we need to fix this. So we need an associate coach, assistant, and goalie coaches. Uh, okay, Steos. That's... Oh, I thought that was Steve Steos. Is there anyone else that fits further than that? As our team's pretty all over the place, I guess, huh? Okay, so we'll go AHL associate coach. Is a C minus? Ugh. 28% team fit. Ah, well, that's fine. Richard and Mackie. And goalie coach. An NHL assistant coach. Let's take a look here. As we just need to fill the roles. And okay. Fan day. Don't feel like this the market. What we're looking for. Lazar signs with us. And again, man, everyone wants Evan Rodriguez. So that's something to think about at the deadline. Richard Research signs with us. Mackie does not. <sighs> Kling does not, and Chenko does not. Okay. We will go to next season. As second and a third for Eric Grant, and a third. No, we do not need that. Third and fourth for Abdul Kader. Don't need that. As, man, we are getting offered crazy. Yeah, what? That, do that doesn't even make sense at all, that deal. I still can't believe we got a first. We're going to edit the trade block here. So we're not even going a day. Is Evan Rodriguez on it? Yeah, let's just take these guys off. Okay, we'll edit that going into the season. As now some things have changed. We've got Alex Ovechkin. Second and a four for Jesper Fast. Third and a four. What? Not yet. I'm like, I'm just super not ready to give up. Wow, these guys just... This is crazy. Uh, okay. As these guys are just hungry for trades. My lord. Trade alert. Young Croc for Enola and Lundmark. Okay. 
Grimaldi, who we just signed for a second and a third. Like, what? These guys are lucky I'm not just trying to fleece them senseless. Jeff Carter for a first and a fourth. He goes to Carolina. As Carolina's starting to load up even more now. I can't believe Minnesota won the Stanley Cup. Like, that's crazy when you think about it. Uh, we are going to set some captains. That we need to do as Reinhardt is still the A with Eichel and Darlene as the other A. Now, in, we need to set, uh, actually, we'll do that after. As we can do for the AHL, as we're going to edit our lines real quick, see what we've got, and put guys where I want to put them. So he is in the fourth, or the on the wing. Byfield goes up here. He's now in 84. So Ovechkin, Byfield, and Eichel. Middlestad goes here. Reinhardt goes here. Middlestad's in 85 now with Reinhardt and Opozo. Olofsson goes here with... Okay, now the question is, where is Cousins? He's in 80 overall. Okay, so that's okay. Whoops. As that line looks to be good... That's a plus three. Does that change? No. And then we've got, wow, Grimaldi would actually be a better center. Five foot six. That's crazy. I want Grimaldi in the AHL. I do. I really do. As Jurgensen's will go here. And now our entire lineup looks good. So this is what our forward group is going to look like as signing Ovechkin made things a lot easier. We've got a two-year window with Alex Ovechkin. And we're going to see if we can't turn things around quickly. As Ryan Strom, I believe, expire, his deal expires. And then we're going to look on defense, which is Darlene, we're still on, as Drysdale's an 84 now. Darlene's a 90. We're still in an 87. Martinez falls to an 80. And Pilot's in the 79 with Yogi Harju being a 83. What about in net? As Lukanen goes to an 81. So that worked out quite well. As now, let's send down our guys. Because we do need to send those guys down as... Who did I want to sign down? I want to send down Grimaldi. And I want to send down... Jesper Fast. So those guys are sent down. And then in the system, what do we've got? No, these guys I all want to stay there. So that's fine as it is. We actually wait, where is Harper? Ben Harper will come up as our seventh defenseman. And is there anyone else I really don't want down here? No, that's fine. We might have to sign someone else. As we've got to edit our AHL lines, but that's fine. As, let's do that now. There isn't really anyone that I really like care about though on offense. Oh, Johan Larson needs to go up. That's the thing. So we will scratch Johan Larson for Grimaldi. As he will play center there for us. With Asplund, Sherwood, Korostelev. Nope. Over Haig. As Marcus Davidson's a 78 now. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Vorobiev, Latunov's a 77. With so many centers. And can he go over here? So he's a right winger, center. We have a lot of right winger or left-handed players. As Budrius goes over here. As Brett Murray. Does it change? No. Latuna for Lazar. Actually, Lazar over here. Does that do any better? No. That's fine. And defense-wise, we have got a few options. As where is... Am I missing him? Actually, let's just fill this then. So we'll put Fitzgerald in there. Okay. We'll worry about that in a second. As okay, as yeah, this is like I am super stoked for this forward group to go. 
Because now, I mean, Byfield should blow up. Last season, he did not do all that great. Um, but he was hurt, and we're going to have some options here. I don't know what we're going to do about Rodriguez. Everyone wants him. We might move him. Tage Thompson's now a 79. Dylan Cousins, I would love to move up as well. It just wouldn't fit very well with Reinhardt. Nah, it's better with him. No, I like these lines. I do. Is Opozo, I believe, has another couple years or two years left. Hopefully, Cousins can replace him by then. But we also have Dylan Gunther. We drafted it at six overall. That will come up here. So we'll see about that as he's probably going to replace Ovechkin in two years. In Nets, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So I am going to end that here, guys, as our free agent and whatnot going into next season. So next video, we will take on the first half uh, of the year and see how the third year of our Buffalo Sabres rebuild goes. First year, we didn't do well. We got Byfield in the in the draft. And then last year, we got, or we got smoked in the first round of the playoffs, but at least we made it. And uh, next season, we are going to do even better. So, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't for daily NHL content. And I'll see you guys next time.